This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Then cross start your eyes. Rise and shine. Artists who are on the bubble have the B. We, we got get in the game for artists who, who are having a hard time getting the game. We put them in the game. Rise and shine is for those artists who figured it out. They got themselves in the game uh -huh. and a little step further ahead, but they're on the rise. They're on the rise, so Sway. So it's that time to shine. That's right. And with that said, this next artist uh, was said to be one of the top 10 rappers out of Houston in 2013, according to Complex Magazine. My wow. good friends Noah and all those guys over there. Okay. And they know what they're talking about they over do. there they at usually Complex do. Magazine, right? Uh, this guy is, uh, a, well, I just found out he's a former educator. <laughs> you know, very educated man, though, um, by way of Iran, right, if I'm not mistaken? Yes, sir. Were yes, you sir. born in Iran? I was born in Houston, Texas. My I'm first generation. My parents came from um, from Iran right before the revolution. Right before, so they fled. They, I mean, they didn't. my dad came here for school. Uh -huh. They planned to go back, and then it went down, so they didn't, you know, they didn't want to raise, I guess, their kids in that environment, so we stayed. Welcome to the show, Roosh, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, Roosh. Yeah. Nice the to be here, man. Thank you for having me. It's an yeah. honor. Absolutely. The revolution took place in what year? Um, I believe 79. 79. Okay. Around like 79 to 81, I believe. Okay. And I was born in 89, so I'm a youngin'. Okay. So did, did have do your parents, do you guys ever go back to Iran? Have you? So I've been back. Um, when I was younger, I would go back every two years, and i stay there for like six weeks. Six mm -hmm. weeks to like basically for like two months with my family. Um, but I have not been back since I was 14. I don't, I don't even know if I'm allowed to go back technically right now um, because they have some... Basically, they make you. They have mandatory military service yes. when you turn when you turn a certain age. They do um, that in Israel as well. Yeah, yeah, so you either serve it um, or you have an option to buy your way out. But I'm pretty sure it's expensive. So at you know, I haven't been back since I was 14. That's I would true. love to go. Yeah, but you not know? to be in a. You don't want to go join the military. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, no, sir. Ahmadinejad is he a part of your conversations at home? Man, I stay out of the politics of it because it's so upsetting. Yeah. Um, just knowing, like, man, because over the years, like, pretty much 95% of my family lives over there, yeah. right? So mm. it's a very different thing, like, when you don't have grandma or when you don't, you know, I just have my family, right? And a couple cousins that, that are over here as well. Um, but it's just sad, man, because, like, they can't come over here. The, the, the policies and the restrictions are so mm -hmm. heavy um, that it takes, I mean, you got to be, you know, like, my it, my grandmother's not alive anymore, but it, when she was, she probably could have came, but she didn't want to. But, you know, you have to be, like, really old or you have to have a reason, you know? Yeah. You have to have, like, a spouse that lives uh -huh. You know, and even then you got to fill out paperwork and paperwork and apply and wait months to hear back. It's just a, it's just a process, you know, um, and it usually doesn't work out. So I don't really get to see them, you know. OK, Roosh is here. He's our, um, our Rise and Shine artist. Let me ask you this. It's uh, the, the, the mentality, you know, there's always been this divide between Iran and, and the United States of America. This, you know, and, and there's a divide between people in politics here who serve our country in the people of the of the country, the general population, you know, yep. some of our, some of our congressmen have no idea what people <laughs> in their district are thinking and what conditions they are living in. 100%. I know I've been in there. Yeah. Okay. Is that to be true? Like the the, the the zeitgeist of the Iranian people? Is it what it appears to be through the political lens, or when it comes to the United States, or is it a younger generation that don't feel the same way as the leaders? It's just it's just like anything else. When you take a sample size from something. And, and make it look bigger than it is, which is what they do, you know, on TV yeah. and in the news and whatnot. And then it looks like, oh, my God, it's, it's crazy. But the people are very peaceful people. They're mm -hmm. very simple people, man. I mean, when I was over there, they were very interested in America. You know, they would always ask me and they knew a lot about our, our mainstream media and pop culture and stuff like that. You know, like Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan, these people are world. You know, what I mean, to them, they're still the figures they are to us. You know, mm -hmm. they're interested in the American culture. Um, maybe like there's a section of religious people that feel a certain way and they happen to be the people that are in charge of things. But. No nah, man, I mean they're peaceful, bro. They're you know, peaceful. They they just want they just want to live their life and go about their way. That's it. Lastly, and then we'll get back to the music. But I find this inter interesting because yeah. I'm wondering if this also shapes your music. Heroin addiction, you know, is rampant amongst the youth in Iran. This is kept under the radar. Are you familiar with this at all? I am not. Okay, I am not. Okay, all right. Um, but I'd like to I'd like to hear about it. I didn't no. I didn't know this. I believe well, it though. Well, you know, my partner DJ King Tech. You know he's Iranian. You know he's part Iranian. He's, okay. per, he's per, of Persian culture. So we we we're history buffs, man. Right, we, yeah. we study this stuff. Yeah. So and uh and so it's you know they say a lot of kids, the youth are being strung out on heroin. You don't hear about this. It's under the radar. You don't know about this though. I don't. You got to find out, man. I bet so my father does though. Yeah. Talk to your dad. Yeah, yeah. I dad. do know that um when it comes to like you know smuggling opium and stuff like that, yeah. it's heavy. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's no joke. It's heavy over there. And, I mean, coming over here, too. So. Okay. Bruce is here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to play Get Into Your Music. And um, you got a song called Extraordinary, right? Yes. Featuring Emilio Rojas. <clears throat> Shout out to Emilio. Okay. And what do you what do you t- typically rhyme about? Like, is it? Man, I just try to capture the mood um, that I'm in at whatever time. I mean, I, f- I feel like life is about ups and downs. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's there's good, there's bad, there's in between. And if you listen to one of my projects front to back, you'll, you'll see the different aspects of that. You know, you find the days where I'm feeling myself. You find the days where I'm full of doubt. And you find the days where I'm somewhere in the middle, you know? Okay. All right, let's play this. And then we're going to open up the phone lines. 888-742-3345. Sway in the morning. Extraordinary. Save four five. Roosh. Uh. R-O-O-S-H. Yeah. Yeah. He's here. Uh, got the project extraordinary too, right? Unorthodox. I mean, excuse me, unorthodox. And that's out today. That actually came out, what's today? Thursday. Nine oh. days ago. Oh, so last week it yeah, came it out. Yeah, it came out yeah. last Tuesday. So how has it been going? I mean, people responding? Yo, well? actually, man, um, so we put out, you know, we like started rolling it out. We put the record with Emilio out. We put the record with Scarface out in yeah. the video. And then the album, we dropped it last Tuesday, and I actually peaked um, at number 40 on the iTunes rap charts. Ooh, Hear that, HB? That's dope. Get Who's it? getting money, man? You know That's what I'm saying? Dope. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Right. And uh, I didn't expect that. I mean, you know, yeah. everything you see is me. That motherfucker right there that looks like Mikey from Recess. Oh. Damn, the cartoon. <laughs> Let me see Damn, him. Really do, and my homie Track Sounds over there who produced, he actually produced most of the album. He produced the, the joint with uh, with Scarface. So to be able to get, you know, to be able to actually show some like, you know, to chart on iTunes like that, I was like, damn, I didn't, I didn't think it was going to happen. And, you, and you're from Houston, and you work with Scarface. Like, yes. what, 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 Scarface, to me, top 10 all time. You know, you just got to debate on where you want to put him. Right. Um, but also, he's the type of um, uh, a veteran that is going to give you information. Mm-hmm. You know, he's going to share with you his experiences. What stood out about something that Scarface shared with you? I mean, honestly, it's just he's, he's just genuine, man. Like, when he's talking to you, you know, there's no cloud or facade or nothing. He's just talking to you man to man. You know what I mean? Like he can get down on that level and talk to you like yeah. like, a, like a man. You know, he was just letting me know. Like I was telling you, he's been in it 25 plus. You know, like he's seen people come and go, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he stood around because he holds his word, you know. Like the song Deep End is kind of based on a situation where we were both involved with someone um, that, you know, we just didn't trust really. So that's kind of what it's about. And he was just kind of expanding on that. You know what I mean? Deep um, End. Yeah. That, that he's had that in real life. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, shit. We yeah. all know, you know, Faith has been been through trials and tribulations just like the rest of us. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, Roosh is here. Yeah, yeah. How do you stay up then, though, on the, on the downside and the dark days of this game? Because, you know, for somebody that's listening, yeah, we you want to make it to that 40, the top 40 break. But then there's days when your phone not ringing. You know, you left the studio yep. after 12 hours and you hate your mix. Yep. I, yeah. He just yeah. lost his job. You yeah. Just, yeah, that's you a lose teacher. your job. Yeah. You know, things like that. How do you keep pushing on these on these hard days honestly and he could probably tell you best um that's the motherfucker that you yeah that look like, the, the that look like that Mikey. <laughs> okay no yeah. that's 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 my that's one of my best friends right okay. there I and mean, without him i wouldn't be able to keep up on um on the down days because like you said man like sometimes you're in the studio you waste all this time you don't waste it but you spend all this time and you don't come out with what you want so what right. do you do people aren't calling you you're not getting shows you're not doing what you want the album's not out yet you got to push it back for two weeks for something that's not even your fault you know what i mean all these things but you just keep pushing, man. Every other day, I probably thought about, like, man, I just want to stop. I'm just going to do something else. I'm broke. I need to do something. And then you have days where you chart on iTunes, and you're like, there's a reason I'm I'm here. And then I'm sitting here, and there's like, there's a reason I'm here. Yeah. So you just keep pushing. Well, you the Good reason you're you. here because you got fired a couple weeks ago, right? Because <laughs> yeah. I was teaching, right? Yeah, teaching? yeah. I got, I got fired when basically the kids Googled me, and they found out, you know, what I do. And... Straight up, I got fired. I have the conversation recorded on my phone if you'd like to hear it. Let me hear a little yeah. bit. Play it back real quick. All right. All right. And in what grade did you teach? Um, I was actually doing primarily like sixth or eighth grade, but I, I had Hold done on. like, I had done uh, shit. Pre-K, all, pre-K all the way through eighth. Well, you can't be an artist and a teacher at the right. same time? Who knows, man? Check it out. Well, who, you want me to put in the mic? Let's play this. Hey, yeah, let's, let's play it all. Yeah, we gonna, uh, Did you lie? Is that why right, you got fired? Uh, no. Nah, what he doing nah. in his spare time? He's rapping. I mean, you know, he's an artist. And then little snitches. They, <laughs> I thought you were going to say bitches. They said bitches and, and, and yo, that's, that's the worst part, man. It's like those kids were so cool. And once they found out, you know, they were like, like I'm a legend to those kids right now. You know what I mean? Bruce so got it's fired. Like sad. And he recorded the conversation. That's what it sounded like. <laughs> Yeah. 
The first 55 seconds is gold. The fast, oh, the first 50? Get to the good part. <laughs> oh, sorry. What's going on? Well, we had an incident happen on Friday that has us a little concerned. Not a little, but <laughs> concerned. Okay. Uh, the kids were using their cell phones and were ended up, I guess somebody took them up, and they had your rap songs going on them. <laughs> and so I had the privilege of listening to the language in them um, right. and stuff. I just, you know, I don't think it's going to work to continue here. Okay. Just, uh, I mean, it's fine, you're good, but it's, I mean, you know. Uh, they said she, the, 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 they like the music, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they did you a favor. You should be thanking them. <laughs> now, now there's nothing else to lose. Wow. You know, you only so, get, shit, I'm all in, baby. Y'all, that's it, Roosh. Yeah. Well, Roosh, I was curious about how the Iranian culture, if they're welcoming with hip-hop. Like, how do your parents feel about you rapping, and so, how is the scene in Iran in general? That's a question I get a lot about my, how do my parents feel, which I think is funny. Um, but I guess it's, it's applicable. Um yeah, I mean, they would probably rather me do something else. Like, I went to school, you know, I have a degree and all that. I, you know, technically on paper, I could go, you know, work um, a nine to five. And actually, in the intro of the album, I say I woke up late. I showed up late to my nine to five, um, which is, you know, I could do that, right? I do that. Like, on the side, I, I juggle. Like, I go to work, and then after work, I go to the studio, and then I wake up and I do it again, and I just keep trying to push until I can make something. But, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know how they feel. I, I mean, shit, they probably have me doing something else. I don't know. But, uh, I just don't have that in my heart, you know what I mean? I don't yeah. have. You should be making kebab somewhere in yeah. the kitchen, man. Some <laughs> cherry rice, <laughs> some tariq. That's you, you sweat. <laughs> Drinking some dew straight yeah. off the pitcher, not yeah. the kind in the bottle. Yes, yes. All right, Chris on the line from Dallas. <laughs> what? Uh, what? Heather? I'm that, just looking that's at good. you. That's good. All right, uh, well, Chris, what up, man? Go ahead. What's up, man? It's Chris P, local celebrity from Dallas, Texas. I was just calling to holler at my boy Roosh, man. Real cool dude, man. Keep doing your thing. It's a good look. Thank you, Sway, for having him on. Uh, that's uh, yeah. no problem, man. So, Chris? Yeah. All right. Nick in Chicago. Good morning. Chris is Yo, out of what's there. what's up, man? What up? What you want to say to Roosh? How y'all doing, man? I want to tell him, man, that shit banging, bro. Yeah, thank you, bro. Yeah, man, I appreciate that, man. I'm a young artist, too, man, from Chicago, trying to get my grind on, too. I know how it is, man, but uh, keep grinding, man. And I'm a, I'm a, I, I ain't never heard of you before, but uh, I'm going to put motherfuckers on out here with you. Hey, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that, bro. Hit me up. Facebook, uh, Twitter, yeah, man, all that. I'm going to try to get in contact with you somehow, yeah, what is, man, what is, try to get a feature. What is your uh, Hit me up. social media? Man, it's Roosh Williams. Um, It's kind of like you're shooting a basketball, and it goes swoosh, but you got an R. So everything is Roosh Williams. That's Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Hit me on my real Facebook page, because fans pages are whack um it's hard for me to interact with people and keep in touch because it's like it's just so poorly laid out zuckerberg if you're listening change it um so add me on my real facebook and <laughs> if you have youtube google it's roosh yeah, williams don't, don't, i you promise get, there's only one you only get so a uh, certain a limited amount of uh, followers right when you do the yeah yeah you, you do, do but the, i have like i don't know four thousand or something damn, i think did i got he some just stun on us right there <laughs> yeah your last no, name no. williams <laughs> uh Roosh Williams on Facebook. Yeah, hit me up. Oh, that's right. your, that's a, that is not my legal last name. Okay, oh, yeah. I was going to say, that's a sound yeah. Persian to me. <laughs> it's Sway in the morning. Only on Shea 45.